Hello everybody. Today I want to show you a couple things I kind of run across and um, let you make up your own mind what you think about it. First of all, let me get one thing out there said. I'm not a doctor. Don't claim to be. Not trying to tell you I am. Not trying to give you advice. Other than my advice is don't do anything. Don't do it. Talk to your doctor. Whatever. Now that's been said. I have been given some uh, a prescription uh, cephalexin. So I want to show this here to you. Uh, this one was the one that was given to me. You know, I'll probably not be able to see that there. I can't tell. Cephalexin 500 milligrams. This one right here was given for my dog. Cephalexin 500 milligrams. And lo and behold, it's the same pill. And no, I'm not just going off by the color. You know, the numbers and identifiers on the pills match up. Now here's another Cephalexin 500 I was given a while back, about a year ago. Different color. And just to be sure I wasn't given the wrong pill, blah, blah, blah. I ran in pill identifiers and yes, it comes out Cephalexin 500 milligrams. And what uh, what led up to all this, um, the fish, the family fish was looking puny and talking to one of the people there at those pet stores. They said to get some fish flex, whatever, blah, blah, for fork. He goes, you know, all it is is cephalexin. I said, yeah, I've heard of that. He goes, it's the exact same stuff. Well, I wasn't going to take his word for it and all that stuff. So I got on the internet and sure enough, it seems to be your fish antibiotics are pretty much the same thing. Seems to be. You decide for yourself. Now there is a guy with a YouTube channel named Dr. Bones Nurse Amy. He claims to be a medical doctor. I hope he's a real medical doctor, not just a YouTube doctor. I don't know. Can't say. But look him up and see what he says about the fish antibiotics. And what also he says about expiration dates. It's pretty interesting. Especially there's a story about a pharmacy where they found unopened, I guess as they give them in the big bulk containers, unopened pills, 30 years old I believe it was, where they were tested and um, they still had like 95, 97 percent or something like that. It was high 90s of their potency. And I guess the government had done a study on but don't take my word, uh, go to his uh, YouTube channel and look it up. But anyway, for the fish, here it is. I'm going to open it in front of everybody. I'm just not going to let everybody see the address label. That came in today, and this is for the four fish. So, I'm going to open that up and see if it happens to match any of these. Hold on a second. So, um, there's different channels, and they, they talk about, um, you know, storing fish antibiotics and blah, blah, blah. It's the same stuff. For people as it is for pets and the fish so do a little research and see what you think anyway here is the bottle I just bought fish flex fort 100 capsules nice pretty yellow fish on there I have no idea what he is and it says each capsule contains cephalexin monohydrate or whatever that is 500 milligrams so anyway Let's open this up. I know the fish is probably wanting some of that stuff. The bird seems to be, see, brand new, still foil sealed and everything. Let me bust that open. And these come in a white white pill. What do you know? So 802. So what I'll do is run a pill identifier on that and see what it says 802 you can also do that on your own run, run identifier run that on out there the 802 little white capsules so this is what I'm going to be putting in the fish tank and hopefully the little fish will be feeling better Here's what it says that one is, uh, cephalexin 500 milligrams, cephalexin monohydrate. So anyway, uh, this is by Thomas Laboratories. So 
see what you uh, come to find out with. Uh, see what you think about it out there. Fish antibiotics. There's uh, other folks on YouTube that said they use that. And uh, instead of going to the doctor, or some of them say they can't afford a doctor. So they just get that stock up on it. So Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd pass that along. It was kind of an interesting thing. I was kind of, well, kind of, I was really surprised come to find out this stuff is the same stuff we all take. Okay, now the next step is I'm going to ID the number on this pill. I think in, you can see this here, 802 on the pill. Maybe that will help bring it out, 802. So I went to drugs.com and here's what I found. All about it. Cephalexin 500 used in treatment of bacterial infection, upper, upper respiratory tract infection, blah, blah. 500 is not subject to controlled substance acts and stuff. So it doesn't say anything for fishies only. So that kind of, kind of uh, interesting here. Scroll down. You can see more of the description. Again, you can go to drugs.com and put this information in and see for yourself. It talks about the uh, color, the strength, and all that good stuff. Wait a minute. Prescription only. I guess not for fishes. But anyway, hey, uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm not telling you what to do or anything. I'm just putting this information out. And you make your own decisions and stuff. So, okay. Take care. God bless.